<laughs> Hello there, gang. Your chum, D.D. Devere here. And I'm just playing a little bit of 12 hours, and so I thought I'd put together a video for the channel, as I sometimes do. And as we endeavour to inquire, is this worth the money, and more importantly, the time? So is it? Let's find out. So options are remarkably bereft. <laughs> this is a Unity game, so there's a Unity launcher outside. Let's just select a few graphics sort of settings, sort of preset quality levels, and uh, that's your lot. So go to sleep means to play the game, and wake up means exit game. So that's, that's the options covered. So let's dive on in. All right, to turn on, off the flashlight, LMB, to replace the battery R, view collected items tab, to drop active items Q, to attack, left or right, mouse wheel change items in hands. Oh, oh. Oh, um. So far, so dark. <laughs> I'll probably have to. I'm probably going to have to deal with this in the editing. Add some gamma or something to it. Cause e to interact. Oh, good. Another one of those torches that as soon as you walk close to something, it blinds you. Well, we've got a sprint. Well, by sprint, I mean a sort of crippled hobble. That's something there. This is a. Well, There's definitely nothing outstanding in the look so far. We've got to find things. Not much we know. What things? Uh, oh no, it's just reflective. I thought that was glowing. It's not, it's just reflecting. Ah, here we are back with the old. Torch and battery game. Oh, hello. Uh, ha! Is this, are they props or are they. No, they're not props. They're dangerous. <laughs> well, that was. That was something we had to find out. So, this is, of course, apparently a procedurally generated game, so. Oh, hello. G and T. That little icon down the left there, it's... Uh, not sure what it's trying to tell me there. It doesn't seem to do a great deal. So at least there's some random to it. Hello, I keep, hello I'm pressing E. Doors could be a bit faster. Probably gonna shoot flame at me and waste me now. Um, no need to interact. Oh, I see. It's gonna. I'm gonna guess tab, wasn't it? Ah, yes. So that's why it's called Twelve Hours. We've got to collect twelve bits of paper to do what? Who knows? More importantly, who cares? Ha! <laughs> Um, the audio so far has been alright, it seems not bad. Well, that was worth the journey. <laughs> solved, solved nothing. Just wasted a lot of battery. Excellent, excellent. Hmm, stairs, might go that way next. So that's the problem with this kind of thing. There's no way to get a real bearing on anything. Um. Oh, that's this developer's other game. I've actually got that. I'll have to put. I'll have to do a oh, more more paper. I'll have to do a video on that sometime. Everyone's in the mood for a laugh. Unless it's been updated any time soon, but I'm not sure I put any store by the hope on that hope. Right, where uh, stairs? This way, perhaps. Oh, I managed to walk into a wall. <laughs> oh dear! Is 
first step. Ah, so is this maybe one of those sort of supposed to be joke games? Rather than an actual, I mean, an actual proper game. I and mean, there's a lot, of, a lot of evidence of this being a joke so far. Yeah, I'll give it credit for that. But I mean, oh, a weird lag spike. I suppose it's trying to do the jump scares at us. Oh, hello. Uh, he doesn't look very friendly. Oh, he's not. Well, we're going to easily outrun him with this slow hobble. Try and pallet loop him somewhere. <laughs> Persistent, isn't he? Give him credit. No, no, no. This is about the right mouse button to attack. All right, has he, has he lost interest? He's not the only one. No honesty. Well, I, th I think he's gone. Oh, another another empty room. Right, well, I'll keep going this way. It's just a dream. I well, we won't go down that way. I mean, I'm guessing there's a lot of unity assets here because he sort of felt familiar. Ah. Uh, is there nothing else to do in any of these rooms? A trap or a puzzle or something? Oh, another dead end. Yeah, there's, there's not really no way to get a bearing on something like this or to give yourself a bit of a clue of what's... Ah, well, just as you say that, some excitement happens. Some stairs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wake up, you're late for school. Oh, well. What is going on with this? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, he's back again. Open the door, we haven't got time for this right now. See ya. Oh, having trouble there, are you, chum? <laughs> he also looks rather familiar, because he's a different one, isn't he? That other one was the zombie bloke. He was the other one that was just chasing me. Any danger of... Oh, I was about to say any danger of a weapon. Oh, right. Uh, oh, that's handy. It can only scroll one way or the other. The scroll doesn't rotate all the way round. Which is interesting. If I keep scrolling up now, it won't go back to the beginning. I'll have to scroll down again. That's not one of those. Oh, I can't pick this one up. Can't pick that one up. Excellent. All right. Did, did I just go in there? Was that already open? I'm imagining things. Are... Lost track of where I am again. Ah, another sign of quality. Excellent. Excellent. Didn't we see this room downstairs? Uh, there's some weird graphical glitching going in on this. This is bugged. It's supposed to look like this or not. Uh, it's supposed to look like the dog's dinner. Ooh, another weapon. You do treat me. <laughs> pick up the weapon seems to blind me. That's a, that's a good starting point. Can we pick this one up. Uh, right, there we go. You dreamed it. And even a wild goat. I'm sorry I paused there because I just wasn't sure what I was reading. I, I misread it wrong. You dreamed it and even a wild goat. This has got to be a joke game. Or oh, something's been badly lost in translation. Uh, what's all this? No, I... That's, I just think it's just junk and graphical. Corruption. I was absolutely sure when I clicked on that that was coffin was going to pop open. It was going to try another jump scare on me. <sighs> Getting too cynical. 
Poor son of a doyer there. Not paying attention. Right, here we've definitely been. I guess that's going to be the problem with this sort of thing. And when you... Oh, hello. Right, I'm going to have to turbo around him. Try to scroll it right. Come on then, let's have some. Let's party. Am I, is that actually attacking? Have I even... Right, I've got no idea. Right, I've got, I've got the axe. This ain't going to end well, is it? No, that, that, that's it. Wow. Wow, mountain blade. Sit yourself down. Make your superior melee combat. What the hell was that? So use your weapon, you've got to blind yourself. I suppose the trick is to kite yourself under one of these light areas and then fight there. But even then was clicking and swinging, I couldn't see anything, but I didn't seem to be really stunning him. Not doing any damage to him. Well, twelve hours. That's that's the length of time it took for them to cobble this together in unity, I guess. What is that, G? The clicking noise is happening. Not a lot else. <laughs> I haven't got a clue what that's supposed to be about. Well, I can't say I'm being blown away by 12 hours. So it's basically Slender Man with some slightly different zombies wandering around. In order to attempt jump scares and not a lot else to be honest with you. And of course we're playing the old flashlight game again, the battery collecting simulator. Oh, wow. Well, saying that, we've got plenty of batteries here. So this is it then, is it? Just basically wander about, try and find these, and then die horribly with some really bad combat. How bad the combat is, you might as well just give us the weapon right off the bat. Or well, give us the bat right off the bat, if you like. Yeah, you did that jump scare last time we were here. Oh, what another excellent room. So I think we're probably going to conclude our dealings here, gang, because <laughs> this is not particularly gripping, as you can guess. You see for yourself what the combat was like. It seems to blind you half the time. Wow, suddenly it's absolutely raining batteries on me. All this props and stuff, all this here and... They did really nothing with it. I mean, the randomization's nice, I guess. The audio track seems not too bad. I'm going to guess free sounds or something like that's involved in this. But that's kind of where the positives end. It's dark, it's dingy, you know, with the sort of quality of the graphics here, that's not necessarily a negative if you catch my thinking there. Let's have you here. As you see, there's weird graphical glitches, unfinished walls. And there's the doors. Are the doors? Well, the doors at least are something working properly. And then there's that. Oh, uh, what? Oh, I'm sure I pressed wrong. <laughs> oh dear, I've been this way. Yeah, it's really. I certainly know I'm not going to be trying to collect all 12 pieces. That much I can, I can tell you for a fact. No, it's just more graphical glitch caused by the lights. It's just a dream. Ah, uh, yes, I'm sure it is. It's not a very good one. Certainly not the nightmare the developer was thinking it would be. Oh, that's another dead end. I don't have to backtrack anywhere. I'm completely stuffed. So what's the point of all these rooms? <laughs> There's nothing in most of them. I mean, that's it. One prop. That, um, that's all there is to this room. So, ugh, yeah, great. Dead end. 
So, uh, so this is what I mean. I have absolutely no idea which way I'll come from, which way I need to. Uh, oh, that's fair and balanced. Excellent choice. It's given me a weapon. We plod along at oh. <laughs> an absolutely glacial rate into another dead end. Oh, let's just try and cut. To, oh. Yes, yes, maybe I'll, that T or G does something now. Oh, hello, something just changed there. Oh, he just teleported out. Oh, that's handy. With loads of batteries, but no weapons and teleporting enemies. That's a hell of a combination. So, uh, hang on, did I not just turn my light off? Ah! It's some sort of separate... Oh, I can see it now, looking at the icon. It's one of those head torches. In the world of closed doors, the one who has the key is king. <laughs> How very deep. Right, I get it. So you're supposed to use this one for your general searching. And then now, I would use that for combat. It's actually a far better torch all over, actually. It doesn't use the same battery pull. Let's just hit reload a couple of times. Maybe if I pick that up again, that looks like another one of those. So maybe now, that recharges it. Oh, well, it doesn't matter, gang. So, yeah, I think we'll conclude our dealings here. 12 hours. I'm struggling to do more than 12 minutes at the moment. Just waste opportunity with nice soundtrack. To be honest with you. What are different puzzles you could have done with all these different rooms? Oh, there's another completely ineffectual weapon. <laughs> how, how how reassuring so yes we'll conclude our dealings here gang not really worth the time or the money in my honest opinion but your mileage may vary of course so anyway all thanks for taking the time to watch the video I hope you found it useful for entertaining in some way and as ever don't forget to like comment subscribe to let me know you're alive and i shall see you all next time bye for now